हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू अपॉलोजाइज फॉर अ वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग डिले एक्चुअली आई वाज वेरी बिजी इन सम फ्रीलांसिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच आई यूजुअली डू सो आई वुड लाइक टू अपॉलोजाइज वंस अगेन फॉर माय एब्सेंस सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वेरी basic concept of uh, importing a third party spice model in lt spice simulation software and in this video i would import an operational amplifier texas instruments operational amplifier spice model into the lt spice library so let's start first of all we would go into the uh, component library symbols here yeah, i have already opened the uh, operational amplifiers library here you can see uh, operational amplifiers double click here and you can see a list a very large list of op amps already in the lt spice op amps library but uh, most of these models are based on the analog devices or linear technologies models and very few of them are based on texas instrument so we would use these simple generic um opam symbols first of all we would place them into the schematic now here we can see that there are different types of opam symbols this is a three pin opam symbol that is showing an input negative and input positive and an output only 3 pins and this is 5 pin that is showing dual supply rails positive and negatives and this is something like compensation pin is also added in this op amp symbol and this is more advanced op amp symbol which i myself generated this symbol so we will start with this uh, basic op amp symbol i place it here in the schematic now we would go into the tesis instrument website and i would use this opa 1656 because recently for one of my clients i designed an audio amplifier based around opa 1656 and this op amp is very good related to the audio applications so this is its data sheet and i would download its spice model from texas instruments um, web page we would click here on the design and development tab and go here design tools and simulation click here and there are numerous uh, spice models available here so we would not download this tina because this tina ti spice model is the model that is that would work on the texas instruments uh, simulator that is called tina so we would download this generic opa 16 which is p spice model you would we would left click here and it would be downloaded into our download folder now open extract to archive now as we can see here it this uh, folder have total six files okay so we would copy the file that is extension with dot lib the spice model file that has extension dot lib uh, dot lib dot lib this is the file that we would going to use in lt spice simulation software so we would simply copy this and go into our c drive program files ltc folder ltc lib and just remember this is very important thing that you have to copy the spice model into the subfolder 
not the other sim folder or cmp folder sim folder is the folder which contains only the symbols while the subfolder contains the spice models so we would right click here and paste our symbol paste our spice model here as i have already this model in my folder so i would replace this just to show you guys how to do now the model is in my folder and we would simply copy this copy this path which is in your computer or laptops directory and we would add a spice directive here spice directive just be sure that you have selected the spice directive now you have to type this command dot include and paste the uh, path that you copied here and now spec slash opa1656 dot lib this is very important that you uh, this is very important that you use the exact same name here which is written and this uh, file name here or the uh, very correct and safe method is that you simply rename and copy this copy this name exactly as it is and paste here and don't forget to type dot lib at the end of the file name because the LT spice always see the extension of the file this is very important dot lib now place this spice directive anywhere on the schematic you can place it anywhere so I have placed the spice directive near to my symbol now next step is that you change this name opam2 you have to change this and so control right click and double click here in the value and type the same name that we copied from our computer directory opa1656 here we do not have to use dot lib oh, just only opa1656 that is part number that's it now our spice model has been imported into our lt spice schematic now as soon as I run this schematic the LT spice simulation software would go into this path and extract the opa1656.lib file and it would run that simulation model into this symbol having this name opa1656 and we can copy this symbol any, as many times as you want so I would simply use this symbol once and let's see uh, what happens okay uh, one one more thing I wanted to tell you that you have you can open the spice model into the LD spice simulation software and you can do this by going into the same path as your computer where the LT spice is installed and into the library folder and subfolder and select here all files now find OPA1656 I have this model OPA1656 click open now the model will open into the software and you can see that this dot sub circuit line this is very critical and important for the line you must have to ensure that this sequence of pin numbers is exactly matching with the is exactly matching with the symbol that you have in your schematic right click and here open symbol here the symbol is opened into your software simulation software now you have, you know you should know that this dot sub circuit model shows that pin number one is in plus 
pin number 2 is in minus pin number 3 is VCC pin number 4 V double E and v, pin number 5 is V out this is the sequence pin number 1 2 3 4 5 if we change this sequence here the simulation model would not work properly so we have to cross check this so the pin number 1 is in plus ok and here is also pin number 1 is in plus now go into model again and go into the symbol again and see pin number 2 is in minus go into the spice model and check pin number 2 is yes it is in minus now go again into the symbol and see pin number 3 is V plus pin number 3 is V plus that is VCC pin number 4 is V minus and here is also pin, pin number 4 is V minus V double E last is pin out V out and it should be pin number 5 V out ok so our symbol is matching with the model uh, simulation analysis let, let it be 10 millisecond transient simulation 10 millisecond transient simulation now we uh, are going to test of the circuit um, in the spice model so let's uh, make a very simple small uh, non inverting amplifier with this model in order to check if this uh, spice model is working or not so for non inverting amplifier we are going to use resistor in the feedback negative feedback and connect another resistor to the ground let it be 10 kilo ohm at both 10 kilo ohm therefore the gain would be equal to 2 1 plus R1 upon R2 I would explain this non-inverting and inverting amplifiers in another video so for this video just uh, just see if this model works or not now let's place the power source the OPS 1656 works on uh, plus minus 18 volt maximum so we are going to use 15 volt supplies plus minus the dual supply is made something like this the positive pin is here going to be into the VCC and negative pin is going to the VWE that is battery negative pin and here you can see that A here written is the label net so we are going to use these labels in order to complete the nodes in our circuit so we are going to copy this label or node here and this VWE here on the negative pin so electrically they are both connected VWE and VWE and here VCC is connected to VCC electrically but in the schematic it is not shown this is the purpose of uh, these nodes and labels now we place voltage source this would be a sine wave okay. here advance go in advance click sign amplitude let it be 0.01 volt or 10 millivolt peak and frequency let it be 1000 hertz ok drag the circuit a little bit away for clarity ground connect ground ok now connect the output node in order for us to easily see the output node signal and input node signal this is input and this is output so the output would be amplified two times that is the gain of 2 1 plus RF upon RI or R1 upon R2 so I think the circuit is complete now let's run the simulation yes ok 
perfect as you can see the output is coming and this is the input this blue signal is input and green signal is output so the spice model is working completely fine it is reading the spice model as we downloaded from the Texas instruments website and the result is showing here now let's see if this gain is actually equal to 2 or not here as you can see the output is peak to peak is 40 millivolt the output voltage is 40 millivolt peak to peak nearly 40 millivolt from positive from highest peak to the lowest peak that is crest and trough so 20, 40 millivolt means the input should be equal to 20 millivolt peak to peak and yes it is here 10 millivolt peak or 20 millivolt peak to peak so the circuit is working perfectly fine and amplifier is with a gain of 2 volt per volt so uh, this is all from my side i hope you learned how to import the third model the uh, third party spice model into the LT spice simulation software see you next time take care bye bye